Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so, so that we can bring you the latest news as they come, so that we can support our leader, Mazen Namdekano, IPOB, and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality. He said, Some of the Western diplomats that arrived in the United States of America in preparation of this year's 76th United Nations General Assembly said that they are very ashamed of Biafran governors, especially those from the Southeast region and their political leadership and other leaders. Because of their stupidity and foolishness, they were wondering why are Biafran leaders, Southeast leaders, afraid of Buhari and his terrorist Fulani Nigerian government, including the Fulani kinsmen? You know, they're afraid. They're afraid of them. And the diplomats were wondering. According to a source, he said that the diplomats said that they are not sure if the Southeast leaders have Biafran blood flowing in them because they have been seeing Biafrans in their various countries and they know the characteristic and the stuff Biafrans are made of. They are very hardworking and dedicated. But this set of Biafran leaders are chicken hearts. They are afraid of the Fulanis. You know, one of the diplomats, who didn't want his name to be mentioned, said that there is a limit that the international community can go to help Biafrans because Nigeria is a sovereign state. And the Southeast leadership and their governors are in the right position to seek for help from the international community. But they are not speaking out against the Fulani atrocities in Biafra land. And as a result, there is little the international community can do. Instead of them to tell the world leaders what is happening in Biafra land, they are busy telling the world leaders the exact thing the Fulani Nigerian government is saying to them. And that is why they are terrorizing Biafra land. They can't try that in Southwest region because their leadership are supporting their people. They're supporting their people. Instead of Biafran leaders, especially the Southeast ones, to support their freedom fighters, they are supporting the Fulani oppression. An example, Dave Umehi, the governor of Ebony State, a Buhari psychophantic useful idiot. Mental evaluation will help him wake up to reality. More Ebony Igbo sons, daughters, wives, mothers have been butchered, kidnapped, raped, and rendered homeless by the terrorist Fulani Janjaweed, who are Buhari's kinsmen than they have done in Kaduna, Benue, and Plateau states collectively. Yet, the Efulefu Sabotua governor, the slave governor, the Fulani slave governor, Umahi, prayed that Nigerian find another Buhari to succeed him come 2023. Imagine Someone was saying 
that who did the indigo offend that the likes of Dave Umehi is a political spokesperson for the indigo? And that is what the Western diplomats were saying. That they do not believe that the political leadership in the Southeast region are full blooded Biafrans. They are not. They are a bunch of Efulefus. Buhari understands that there is nothing called One Nigeria. One Nigeria is a scam, it's a fraudulent contraption. And Buhari and his terrorist Fulani, they understand there is nothing called One Nigeria in any sense. It is only an opportunity for his nomadic Fulani kinsmen to survive and build a Fulani country using the sweat and wealth of others, legally or illegally, under the guise of patriotism and humanity. The Fulani Janjaweed are masters of deception, chaos, anarchy, and they understand how to use the other tribes to control and further their interests, just as they are using the Serikin Fulani of Imo State, Hopuzodema, using all the Southeast governors to their advantage. Against Biafrans. My brothers and my sisters, you can say that the Fulani Janjaweed will be put to shame very soon. They will be disgraced. They will be disgraced. You know, it is easy for anyone, including the crumb pickers from the corrupt dining table, of the political leadership in the Southeast states to criticize our leader, Mazin Namdekanu. Like Mazin Namdekanu said, were he after money or political appointment, he would have abandoned his fight for Biafran actualization. He would have abandoned it long ago. He has sacrificed a lot. Through the struggle, he lost his parents, lost his friends. Over 28 or 38 Biafran youth were massacred at his home. How many of us, Ndibo, in Mazen Namdekanu's position, will not be bought over with big money offer. Those before him that made leap efforts were all bought over. Other Nigerians believe that the offer of money buys an evil man or woman to sell his people. In Mazen Namdekano, the political mafia and caliphate cabal Masters of the of Nigerian wonder who is this evil man, Mazen and the Kano, that money is not able to buy. The reason why we must support our leader, Mazen and the Kano, is because after the Fulani Buhari and his Fulani ethnic group, in connivance with the cowardly Southeast state governors and politicians, finished destroying Igbo youths in the name of fighting IPOB and Eastern Security Network. In the absence of the needed leadership, you know, who have vowed to defend and protect Igbo land, Every man and woman in the Igbo land will be full and in killer's easy pick. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video, and bye-bye for now.